In this video, I'm going to help you get started on your floor tile project. Now, in the pattern, you can make one floor tile, or you can make six floor tiles and sew them together to make a fairly large rug. So those are the six tiles, three on the top and three on the bottom. You can get creative and you can make floor tiles that have many more squares in them. You can make a rectangular floor tile. Uh, you can make floor tiles that use smaller squares or larger squares, so get creative. These all start with a foam-based interfacing. The foam is soft to walk on and it does add some warmth to your floor. So we use Bosel's Interform. Now Interform comes in three different styles. The Plus. Interform Plus is the easiest product to use for this project. Interform Single Sided. And Interform Sewing, which is not fusible on either side. Now the Single Sided is uh, thicker, so I do like to use that for this project. But Interform Plus is going to be the easiest uh, product to use. If you do want to use the sew-in version, you will have to make it double-sided fusible by adding a web to either side of the um, sew-in version. So you simply use uh, a web on release paper. Bosel makes splendid web on release paper. Or you can also use Pellon's Wonder Under. So take this. Cut it the same size as your squares, place it fusible side down on the square of foam, and iron it with a steam iron. Do that on both sides so you have a piece that looks like this. Now there's paper on both sides of this. You'll be removing the paper one side at a time. So remove it on one side. And in this project, what we're going to do is we are going to do the back side first. So I'll move those over. You're going to cut a square of fabric the same size as your, size as your square of foam. Place it on the back and iron it on. Now when you do that, you may find that your, your fabric stretches just a little bit and it may extend beyond the edge of the foam. If it does, just trim it off. The next step is you want to draw some guidelines for you on the other side. If you've uh, added paper release um, web to either side, now's the time to pull the paper off the other side. Draw lines according to the pattern instructions. That's going to help you to place your squares. Now this square right here is not the size of the tile that we have in the pattern but for purposes of the video we had to shrink it down a little bit and this has three inch squares on it. So you'll start to place your squares. I like to start in the middle and you want to use your guidelines to place your individual squares of fabric like that and then work out and out. Now if your squares don't exactly meet, say there's a little space in between there, that's okay because we are going to be covering them with sashing. After you've placed all of your squares, you're going to fuse your squares down. Again, on this side, if your fabric extends beyond the edge of your foam, you just want to trim that excess fabric off. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add the sashing. All done.